so we're both screaming and crying, and I have to call her an ambulance because she would not stop bleeding. I thought I almost killed her. People that work or have worked in bikini waxing salons, what is the worst disturbing experience you have come across while giving someone a bikini wax? Uo vuo I'm so glad to see you again viewer. If we haven't met yet I'm Andrew your storyteller. Since you're here, why not like the video, subscribe and ring the bell button. So we don't miss any more story times together. If you don't, I'll tell your mom you spent her stimulus check on hookers. No more funny business, let's get into the stories. A worm fell out of someone's butthole when I was waxing it. The tiny, little maggot why looking worm. Sperm bubbles. Women didn't always wash up after sex, and they'd come in for a wax. Sometimes the semen would form a bubble while you were waxing, and then it would pop and leave you with an awful rancid sperm smell. Esthetician student here. I plan on going into Brazilian's Manzillion's bikini waxing and full body after graduation. The number of people who come in during their monthly cycle only wearing a pad? Come on now. I always feel so self-conscious before going for a bikini wax and I always tell myself they've seen worse. This post confirms that belief. I've had a few Brazilians done and I asked my waxer what her worst experiences were. She said there are so many people who come straight from the gym or their afternoon jog or their strenuous workplace without showering or anything. How can you have that little self-awareness? I got a full Brazilian as a dude. Female esthetician works on me. My GF is waiting in the lobby. After she's about halfway through the front she asks if she can ask a slightly unprofessional question. I say sure. She says she's never seen a circumcised penis before, but didn't ask me any actual question, just made the comment. The worst part was that the walls were thin, so pretty much the whole lobby heard the conversation. My waxy lady and I talk about this all the time. She said girls come in on their periods all the time. She doesn't mind as long as there's a tampon in place and it's clean. Some ladies don't comply. She's seen women who haven't properly wiped their asshole after taking a dump. But the weirdest thing she saw was a girl who was born without an asshole. I don't know who why how what where but yeah. That's weird. Unfortunate, mostly. My friend is esthetician. She has sent ladies to the gynecologist for growths, aromas, etc. She says it's about once a month that she has to have that awkward talk with a client. The worst one she ever told me about was a sweet older lady with a labial abscess. Poor woman, it must have hurt like hell. She had it treated and came back to say thank you. I once was the gross customer by pure accident. My former girlfriend liked the idea of shaving your chest etc. The less hair I got on my body the better. Blah blah blah. I did bleed so heavily out of every damn pore on my chest that the lady stopped mid-session. After the bleeding had stopped somewhat I helped clean up, paid and left. The bruises were visible for several weeks. I never tried waxing again. I used to be an esthetician, and I'll never forget the first Brazilian I ever gave a girl. I was inexperienced so to get the butt area I made her go on all fours. After I powdered up her butt, I was holding her cheeks open and closely examining the direction of her hair growth so I'd know which direction to spread the wax, as I was trained to do. Then all of a sudden I see her butthole opening and closing and opening and closing, and then bam. She fully farted in my face. She was super embarrassed and said it was an air bubble. Didn't smell like one though. Not a waxer but a spray tanner. For well-endowed women of the bust or butt the policy is arms over head or turn around and bend over. Only if absolutely necessary do you lift with the back of the hand and spray underneath. On this lovely day I had a particularly hefty woman come in, and she didn't want no tan lines. It was time to turn around and bend over, lift the butt, and what looked like a weak old sopping brown tampon came slurping out, bounces off the back of my hand and splats on the floor. Not my story, but I had a friend who waxed for a while. She had a guy come in and request a waxing for his taint ass area. When she did, the guy orgasmed on release. It was obviously awkward, the guy apologized profusely, and it was a no harm no foul, but don't do it again situation. Well of course he returned after some time, and he came again. They banned him from returning. 
My instructor in cosmetology school told me about a time when they had to practice anal waxing, and the way she was supposed to do it involved her putting talcum powder on the butthole area. So she powders the person up, and as she's grabbing something else from her work table, the person lets out an airy toot, and a little fluff cloud of powder comes with it. She couldn't contain herself and had to do the assignment another day haha. <laughs> At one point in my aesthetics career I did a lot of waxing, like 12 Brazilians a day, so I have seen smelt some horrifying crap. The most memorable WTF moment was while waxing a well-groomed sorority girl. She was utterly oblivious to the rank odor emanating from her junk. There was discharge. I pulled a strip from her lower labia, near her vaginal opening, and what I can most accurately describe as the contents of a large Cadbury cream egg stuck to the edge of the strip and splattered on the wall behind me. She remained blissfully ignorant of the bacterial projectile. I think the toughest thing I've ever seen through as a waxer was a minor getting a Brazilian, yes her parent knew and signed a consent form. This girl didn't clean herself properly, looked like she had diarrhea and wiped back to front, with super thick hair, and I got stuck pulling a labia strip. It was my fault, I didn't cleanse and poke around thoroughly enough before I started, but I almost went to go get a coworker, because I thought I was going to need help pulling it off. Client was a champ though, bore with me throughout the whole process. Definitely the toughest experience I've had, even beyond the 400 plus pounds ladies I see. I've been a body waxer for 5 years now, and we are a special breed. It's almost like nursing when it comes to putting on the professional face when we're confronted with something gross. But tbh, it's really not that bad of a profession. Smells yes, some excretions yes, blood yes, even poop sometimes yes. But you're there to do a job, and if you're good enough at it you push through it. These people are opening up an incredibly vulnerable part of their body to a complete stranger. The last thing I want to do is scar them for life by making a face or a rude comment. So shake some extra powder on there and keep laying those strips. It'll be over soon enough. I have one. A girl came into my salon a month before she got married. She had never groomed her pubic hair and claimed to be a virgin. She wanted to be waxed right before her wedding. Completely natural, right? I recommended she get a wax now, and another before the big day, since there was no way of knowing how her prized lady bits would react to the wax. She declined and set an appointment three days before her wedding. Fair enough. When she came back, I was not prepared for the amount of pubic hair she had. It was unusual for a fair-skinned blonde client to have long coarse black hair. But whatever it's my job. So I trim her up, clean her, and prepare to wax her. Again, she had ungodly amounts of dark hair. Even trimmed, her skin was barely visible. So after inspecting her and not seeing any issues, I begin waxing. I crap you not, she had skin tags and perturbing moles that I did not see before starting. To get to the point, I pulled a strip from her labia area and pulled off about 20 skin tags. She yowled. The entire salon heard. And then she started bleeding. Like gushing blood. We know how to handle bleeding pores. But I had never heard of this. So we're both screaming and crying, and I have to call her an ambulance, because she would not stop bleeding. I thought I almost killed her. Maybe not the grossest story, but it was traumatic. I changed professions soon after. I imagine her wedding night wasn't magical either. Edit to answer questions. What I perceived to be skin tags could very well have been HPV. That being said, her client info form indicated she had no known illness or conditions. Also, I've waxed a few warts before. Sometimes they tear or even bleed, but they don't come off intact the way these did. Yes, obviously the room and equipment was fully sanitized after the incident. True, an ambulance is expensive here, in the States, but it was a necessary call. She was still bleeding heavily when the EMTs arrived, and it's the responsibility of the business, from what I understand. I wasn't fired. I didn't get in any trouble. But I did feel guilty so I voluntarily stood before my state board and told them what happened. It was fine. No repercussions. I never heard from her again, though we did attempt to contact her to check in. Nada. Yes, she was a little fat. I would say overweight, but not obese. Her hygiene seemed fine. A skin tag is a fleshy deposit of excess skin. 
they have a ton of causes, but they're often in places that sweat or rub a lot. Common on larger people, though average and thin people get them too. They usually aren't painful unless they're messed with. Like trying to pop it like a pimple, scratching, attempting to remove it. You know. Stuff like that. Like and subscribe for more funny, interesting, and scary r slash ask reddit videos.